much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between high end and drugstore. I'm going to be using the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover on half of my face and then the Bioderma makeup removing my cell solution on the other half of my face. Um, please don't mind my hair. I'm trying to heat style it less so this is dried naturally wild mess. Um, to say the least. So I'm getting ready for bed. So please don't mind my hair. This is just my chilling hair. Thank you Anyways, uh, let's start off the video. Um, I'll do the drugstore first. I Use these cotton pads um, that are you know um, Gentler on your skin. They don't tug as much as some of those other like the circle ones that aren't as fluffy I find those like really tug on my skin. I don't like to use them. Okay, so shake well. Apply with a cotton ball and wipe off. I have used this, um, but the last time that I used this, it did um, leave like a greasy residue on my skin, so I didn't really like it and I didn't use it again. But for the sake of the video um, and you know to see what works better, I'm gonna do it again. Um, I'm just gonna pour lots of. I do wear lots of makeup, especially my eyes. So, okay, so it's damp. I'll leave it on my eye for you know a moment or two, just to like really get it to soak in. Um, I like to use because I do use heavy eye makeup. I like to use. Um, one cotton pad for each eye, and then one for my face. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, it did a pretty good job, actually. I try not to tug on my skin, but, I mean, keep in mind, it is hard sometimes, especially when you're trying to really get in there and remove all of that eye makeup, your eyebrow. Oops. I need another one. So that's the first one. I mean, it's not bad. Do you see the comparison or do you see the difference? I'm trying to do just half my face, but it's like so hard. Sorry, my contact has moved out of place. So sorry if that was disgusting. I apologize, but contact wearers, you understand the problems. Oh, hey. So, I mean, it did a pretty good job of removing your makeup. However, I do feel like I need to go in with a cleanser and take this off because I feel like it's greasy. I do feel like I just lathered my skin with oil. Is it an oil? I don't know. I mean, it does say that it's for lids, lashes, and lips. Maybe that's why. Okay, now the Bioderma. You guys saw how it um, removed my eye makeup. I mean, it's claiming to be a great makeup eye makeup remover, so let's put it to the test. I um, put the same amount on this cotton pad. A little bit, I'm just gonna leave it there for a few seconds. Ugh. Not. 
I feel like this is better. I don't know. Um, I did just put on my makeup um, not too long ago. So it's not like, you know, at the end of the day when I take off my makeup, obviously it's, it's less because um, it's mostly worn off. But I had just applied this makeup. So that could be why. See, I just like... I just like this stuff so much better, the Bioderma. Um, it just removes everything, including your foundation, your eyes, your lips. It just does an amazing job. Um, I feel like it removed the eye makeup the same. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go um, and do one more. And I'm going to go over this eye too because I feel like it's just greasy. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, it feels so much better. Okay, so final, final, final comments. I do think that this does a really, really, really good job of taking off your eye makeup. Like, really, really good job. Um, I think I still have, like, some mascara here that I don't really see on the other side. Um, but what I do is I'll just take some of this, uh, get a Q-tip, and, you know, take off that extra amount of mascara or eyeliner that I have. Um, but I think for the price, um, I'll link this down in the description box below. I'm not sure what this retails for. I am a VIB Rouge member, so I got this as a sample. However, I do know that it's not as, that this is not as expensive as that Clinique uh, makeup remover. This is huge. It will last you for months, and it's, you can, I get two of these for $30, and I can tell you I'm not going to get two of these at this size for $30. So, I think I'm going to stick with the Bioderma. This is the second time I've given it a shot. And again, I don't like that greasy residue that it leaves behind. Um, so I'm going to stick to the drugstore version this time. Not a huge fan. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go wash my face and get ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.